Hey guys, it's Jenny with Art for Good. So today I am continuing my experiments with this metallic spray paint as a base for my canvases. And today we are going to use copper. Beautiful spring palette, let's get started. I've spray painted the uh, base for my canvas. This is a 24 inch round canvas, which is pretty big. I was actually surprised to see I could get these this big on Amazon. I'll put the link to the products that I'm using today in the description below. I'm just going in with some copper colored fluid paint. The beautiful thing about today's uh, painting is that you don't need any special kind of Australian Floetrol. There's no oil in my paints. This is really just my basic recipe. And then my cell activator is gonna be the magic, which we'll get to in a moment. I'm going in with some aqua. This is actually a color shift color. Um, it's a pastel green rather than aqua. And then I'm going in with metallic cobalt, which is an artist lofts product. And then I'm going in with Payne's gray, which is actually not that gray. It's got a little bit of a navy blue hue to it. I love how it contrasts with this copper canvas we have today. My cell activator, the secret is just white. Paint. This is Amsterdam Titanium White that I have used one part paint, two parts Floetrol, and thinned it with water. And that is really all the magic that you need to create these beautiful cells today. I'm using a kitchen spatula that I actually, you're supposed to use it for cakes, but I actually think it's really great um, and handy for the swipe technique. And look at all those beautiful cells forming. I'm gonna wipe off my tool and I'm gonna do it again on the bottom portion. I'm gonna go the opposite direction just to kind of make sure I have balance in the composition. I'm using a spinner today. I haven't used my spinner in a long time. I had to kind of dig it out. Um, it's really ideal for getting, keeping the shape of the cells, but expanding the paint to cover more of the surface that you're working with. I have a tutorial here on how I made my spinner out of just a uh, plastic cake spinner that I found off of Amazon. So um, really you don't need to be spending a lot of money on a spinner to have it work well. All right, I really want to make sure that this is symmetrical across. So I'm gonna go in with some more of this Payne's Gray and try to make it even across the bottom. The really great part about working with this metallic surface is that it wipes off extremely easily. If you make a mistake, you can just wipe you know, or move the paint very easily with a wet paper towel and you don't need to completely start over or do some other troubleshooting techniques like you would on a regular canvas. So I have really been enjoying that. I'm gonna go ahead and actually resin this piece after it dries fully. And I wanted to show you as another experiment what resin is gonna look like over this copper uh, canvas. So please stay tuned for my next uh, set of videos on resining these metallic canvases. If it works, fingers crossed, it's gonna be spectacular. At least it is in my brain. All right, this is the final piece. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna show you in an upcoming video what it looks like after it's been resined. Well, that's all the time I have for today. If you're interested in more of these metallic kind of experiments I've been doing, I have a playlist here for you that you can keep watching some other videos I've done. I will see you next time.